My name's Rob Crackmar and I'm here to give you a little history on our galvanized aerials. We actually started galvanizing aerials about 2003. Um, today we're galvanizing about 90% of our aerials. Part of the reason was to try to eliminate the corrosion that we were finding on, on steel aerials with all the harsh chemicals that are being used today on the roads through the winters and different things. Uh, there's a real benefit from the galvanized side. Through the galvanizing process, we are able to galvanize the inside and the outside of the aerial. Uh, many of the steel aerials have the possibility of corrosion on the inside of the tube. Um, this protection will make these aerials last a long, long time. My name is Alan Hosel and I'm a supervisor at Valmont Coatings in Valley, Nebraska. I have been here 20 years. I'm a master galvanizer, so we will start with the first part of the galvanizing process. First part of that is the caustic tank. So a ladder, a Rosenbauer ladder, or any other type of steel we do, goes into the caustic tank. It is a hot alkalite solution that removes as greases, oils, and other items like that, but it will not remove shellac, it will not remove paint. After that process is done, it goes in there for about three to five minutes. It is then removed and taken over to the caustic rinse tank. This is an in and out tank, done really fast, but also during this tank process, they are looking for venting and draining within the product so we can stop before it proceeds any further. After that, it is taken over to the acid tank. There are two types of acid in the galvanizing industry. One is hydrochloric acid, which is cold. One is sulfuric acid, which is heated. We use sulfuric acid here at the valley site. This tank is heated between 140 and 160 degrees. What sulfuric acid or any acid is gonna do in the galvanizing industry, it's gonna take the iron oxides off of the product. What it does in that, and best in essence of analogy, it's gonna take all those iron oxides off, it's gonna take that metal and change the chemistry of it. It's gonna bring it up in little spikes, which you're gonna see which sets it up for the intermetallic bonding process. Then it's taken over to our acid rinse tanks. Once it goes through our acid rinse tanks, it's taken in each one of those in an in and out process. Once again, looking for venting and draining by a different crane operator that operated it through the caustic tanks. Here at the Valley site in 2008, we started with reverse osmosis water. The reason we did that, the cleaner that we can make the water, the better the galvanizing is going to adhere to the product. It then proceeds to the flux tank. The flux tank is heated to 180 degrees, between 160 to 180. What the flux is going to do, it's going to take the rest of the remaining iron oxides off the product and it's going to leave another finish on there so those iron oxides do not form. It is ammonium chloride based solution and the best analogy I can put to somebody out there would be if you're trying to solder some copper pipes together and you don't put the flux on it before you solder it, it doesn't suck in and, suck in and seal that joint. Same thing is going to happen if I don't flux that material before I galvanize it. It's not going to make that intermetallic bond make contact. From this process, it will proceed to our kettle. Our kettle is heated to 830 degrees molten zinc. This is where the galvanizing process starts. Once the ladder or any material is dipped into the galvanizing bath, it starts this process. Part of that process is best described in four layers. Once again, this is not a one coating item. It coats the product inside and outside. Once it's done past that, it heads to our hot finishing area. Once it enters our hot finishing area, our material handlers clean these ladders up, get all the icicles and items off there, cleans up the runs, making it sure so that the firemen don't get this ladder, they don't hurt their hands going up. There's an inspection process that we go through here and we make sure we meet everything within the ASM 123 standards. We certify that by taking 15 readings down on the finishing end. Those are then sent into a spreadsheet, which we send to Rosenbauer or any one of our galvanizing customers, and we keep those records on hand for seven years. Rosenbauer guarantees our ladders for 25 years. Again, today we're doing about 90% of our aerials uh, galvanized. Uh, we have great customer satisfaction, less maintenance for the mechanics. There's just a lot of pluses. There's gonna be a longevity of these aerials because of the galvanizing.